Also, I mean, look when this guy, look where he died. Charlestown, Virginia. You know, the war started in Charleston. Charlestown, interesting. Also reminded me of um, a TV show that was on the other day. And for whatever the reason it was on and I was listening to it, it's called Clipped. And there's a part where this girl says uh, it was something like, the Pope will be here next week or tomorrow. I can't remember if she said tomorrow or next week. But it was episode, it's a brand new show that just came out on June 16th of this year. And the episode was episode three here that came out on June 30th. So interesting that she would say that, that the Pope is coming tomorrow or even in a week because he's not coming until September. But uh, this show is set in Charlestown, Massachusetts. Also, Clipped just reminded me of the Los Angeles Clippers again. And remember the big uh, racial ordeal with the Clippers? They were owned by Donald Sterling. So, for one, Sterling, like silver, right? Sterling's silver. But uh, look when he was born. April 26, 1934. And he ended up selling it to uh, this guy, Steve Ballmer, who just so happens to be 59 years old this year. So anyway, the Los, the Los Angeles Clippers were named after the boat. Um, they're called Clippers. And they sailed a lot faster or whatever. So, I mean, it even says to New York to San Francisco. But uh, the term Clipper actually came from um, Baltimore. It seems to have had an American origin when applied to Baltimore Clippers. Interesting, that's where Freddie Gray died. The Clippers, Baltimore Clippers. The word Clipper adds to 43. And look what they did. They were especially suited to moving low-density, high-value perishable cargo, such as slaves. And then that trade operated as far afield as the west coast of Africa. Their hull lines tended to be very sharp with a V-shaped cross-section below the waterline and strongly raked stem, stern posts, and masts. Very, very interesting. So let's look at, uh, let's look back at Donald Stern, or Donald Sterling. I keep saying it wrong, but uh, Donald Sterling. So it's all about Freddie Gray, right? Silver and gray. But Donald Sterling, it's Sterling like silver. When he... He got in trouble for making the racist comments too. V, his girlfriend or whatever it was, V Stiviano. So, I mean, look at this. So, he, he owned the Clippers. The Clippers are known for their V-shaped cross section. And then she, may, she records these uh, things of him, V Stiviano. Adam Silver became the new commissioner. Silver, just in general, Sterling and silver david stern was the old commissioner stern is the back of a boat um stern is the back of a boat they used them for slave trade i mean give me a break and i mean this it's just so out of hand the flying cloud was a clipper ship that set the world's sailing record for the fastest passage between new york and san francisco 89 days eight hours eight nine nine eight right the mirrors the Queen is 89. I mean, I've talked about tons of 89. She held this record for over 100 years from 1854 to 1989. Really, so it went 89 days, 8 hours, and then lost its record in 1989. And in 1845, uh, is the world's, the first extreme clipper was launched in New York. And it was called the Rainbow go figure that's everything i i started this video about was the philadelphia experiment is also called project rainbow it all has to do with gay marriage and uh then also it has to do with this whole new new civil war they're trying to start or this this division of white and black or whatever they're doing it all stems back to this i mean how ridiculous is that let's check out the rainbow so anyway the uh it was from 1845 but Look when it disappeared here. So it disappeared on March 17th, 1848. And uh, anyway, that that would be 317 or also 17, 
dash three, like 173. And this actually comes up in the movie that I'm going to talk about eventually. But, uh, because this is the, that number is written on the boat, 173. Also, so Obama said nigger on 622, and 622 is 173rd day of the year. Oh, and then 622 to Obama's 54th birthday, 43 days. Talk about all these 43s. 622 to 106 is 106 days. So 106 and then 106. And then in iPad Go, Obama winks at 106. Um, 10 6 converted Gregorian to Julian is the same as September 23rd that has been shown in the media and uh, movies and all kinds of things. It also talks about the performance of the rainbow and it says it reached New York on 229 1848, 88 days from Canton. So that was a big deal that it took 88 days. Go figure, back to the future and time travel and 88s. Also, 229. Uh, I talked about that in the Kanye West video um, for 229. The 229th day is August 17th, which is the same as Obama's birthday, Gregorian and Julian. There's a ton of other stuff. Not going to keep talking about it. Another thing I, I missed, I was just reading through here. It says, the boom years of the Clipper ship era began in 1843. Well, go figure, it was in 43. So before I move on, I wanted to just re-show that David Stern is uh was born on september 22nd a day that i've talked about a ton of times dealing with michael jordan it's the first day that the pope is going to be he's actually going to be in at the white house i believe that day so interesting also the guy that replaced him then was adam silver born in 62 um but what, interesting so he graduated from rye high school and then duke university in 1984 84 like obama's uh, birthday. Some of the big controversy that's going on right now is all about the Dukes of Hazard and the General Lee car. If you add up General Lee, it adds up to 84 and 48, the mirrors. Also, like I said, Adam Silver uh, graduated from Duke University in 84. And I made a video um, when I was making the Kurt Cobain stuff, I made a video about the code word Duke because on the Dukes of Hazard, you had this guy who died, the Sheriff Roscoe. He died at age 88 this year on April 6th, age 88. But that was also the same day that Duke University won the NCAA Final Four tournament. Uh, not going to explain it that in depth, but uh, Zachary K. Hubbard does a video on uh, when Duke won or whatever. So you can go if you want. There was a bunch of, uh, a bunch of significant things. It all tied into this. Also... The video I made was about Kurt Cobain, and uh, there was the guy who supposedly, or he said that uh, Courtney hired him to kill Kurt, and his name was El Duche, and El Duche is actually means the Duke. Um, I mean, there was a whole bunch of stuff. And then you also had Benito Mussolini, who was known as Tu Duche, and uh, he was ousted in 1943. So 27th prime minister, talked about how it's a 27 year. Uh, quit in 1943, died at age 61. All these numbers just seem to keep popping up. Also, you had uh, the guy who made Time Magazine. They called him Too Luce, or Luce, uh, just as a play as uh, Benito Mussolini. And I know I did something about this guy. He was, and look, he f was born on 4-3, go figure. But, uh, I probably talked about the Lupercalia reference from the February 28th. Um, oh, he went to Yale. Um, he was a Skull and Bones member. Also says here, FDR, aware that most publishers were opposed to him, issued a decree in 1943 that blocked all publishers and media executives from visits to combat areas. The main target was Luce or, Luce or whatever. I mean, because he long opposed FDR. And this was... This guy was the co-owner with him, but he died at a young age. But he was born on the 49th day of the year. Um, also died on 227, which is the 49th prime number, Valentine's, whatever. And it even says that when he died, right before he died, um, he he signed a will that left all of his stock in time for, to his mother and forbade his family from selling those shares for 49 years. I mean, give me a break. So, I mean, moral of the story with the Duke is that they foreshadowed it. 
way before they uh, started doing all this stuff with the Confederate flag and everything. They talked about Duke. The Duke's a Hazard guy died the same day that Duke won the finals. Also, for whatever the reason, when I was looking up the two Duce or whatever, I couldn't remember who it was. Um, and I looked up Nikita Khrushchev again. And uh, he's significant because of Back to the Future 2, which I haven't talked that much about in these videos here. But uh, look when he was born. April 15th or OS April 4th, 4-3, or even uh, the same day that Ab Abraham Lincoln died. So Abraham Lincoln technically also died on 4-3. So anyway, as I was kind of just going back through to see what I hadn't talked about here, I, this guy was still up on my deal, and I, I didn't even realize, too, also, he died on 12-2. 12 12-2, 2, 12 2, 122, right? 12-2. Or it could be 221. 50, that's all about 52 and 122. And Pope Francis and Kansas City. So as I'm reading through here even more about Kansas, because I just feel like, you know, they're cloaking it to maybe, maybe they're going to do something in Kansas. It's kind of a, you know, they're sh showing San Francisco and Philadelphia, but they'll do something in Kansas. So it says that, uh, well, if I can go back to it here, it says that the uh, center of the United States um, the central refer reference point for all maps of North America was in Kansas at Meads Ranch Triangulation Station until 1989. Talked about that a ton of times. And then it says that the geographic center of Kansas is in Barton County. Well, Barton County, um, for one, let's just check it out, Barton County. If you add up Barton County, it adds up to 168 and 51, just like Taylor Swift. And Queen Elizabeth is 168. Beyonce Knowles, 168. West Philadelphia, 168. I talked about all these uh, in, previously in this little series here. So, uh, And it all goes back to the gay marriage and Kanye West. and um, uh, Anyway, yeah. Well, and on that note, that Kanye, all the Kanye West stuff had to do with the number 139. I uh, talked about it previously, but I didn't mention uh, the number... 139 is the 34th prime number. Go figure. And Barton County was founded February 26, 1867. So, two, whatever, 226, or also 26, two. And uh, I talked about this number that led me to uh, gay marriage. It's It looks the same, but it's not, but it all goes together. It's also on the Julian calendar, the first day of Lupercalia. It says it was named after this lady, Clara Barton, who died on April 12th, 1912, the same day that the Civil War began. Anyway, this place is the, uh, like I said, the, whatever it is, geodetic center of North America. So I don't know what it is now. I can't figure it out. But uh, it tells you about the geodetic thing. And if you go here, look at these numbers. So uh, the new one that they use is uh, called the WGS84. WGS adds up to 49. So, And then it says from 1984 onward. So WGS84 from 1984. Obama was born on 8-4. Um, it says the North American datum of 1927. So what I'm getting is, I guess, this was the first one, and then this is kind of the second one. Um, so they measure them differently, but 1927 was 88 years ago, and that's what they used to uh, measure this in, until 1989. And uh, there's a ton to do with Kansas, I'm sure, I'm, as I'm looking through here, even some of these movies, like the movie Looper, I didn't even realize that was from Kansas. Significant movie with time travel and whatnot. The Wizard of Oz. Um, maybe I'll make some separate videos about Kansas, but I, I really need to move on to uh, the Philadelphia experiment um, because, but I basically just built it all up because it all really fits these movies. So, all right, gonna squeeze this in at the end here. So, the Pope's real name is Jorge Mario Bergoglio, it adds up to 111. Uh, September or Abraham Lincoln's death to Obama's birth is 111 days. Duke, like the Blue Devils, 111. Uh, and you get the picture here. This is the Queen's birthday. This is September 11th. 
Obama's birthday, the Queen's 89, 